Um, okay, that's fine. You're supposed to be over there, but that's fine. All right. Good evening, everyone. How are you guys? Do I need to turn this? We're all right. I'm good? Yep. All right, cool. Um, so welcome, as most of you guys know, I am Mrs. O'Toole, and I am so excited to show you our sixth grade orchestra tonight. Um, as you know, we had to do it a little bit differently. Um, we have too many kids involved in our program, which is an amazing problem to have. Um, and we just honestly didn't fit in the auditorium in the middle school, so we were trying to think of the best way, um, educationally speaking, to kind of deliver our product to you and have them show you what they've been working on. So we thought March is music in our schools month. So we wanted to bring you a little bit of our rehearsal. I called it like a rehearsal 2.0, rehearsal on glitter, because we're all dressed up and we're all ready to play and on our best behavior. Right? Yeah. Um, so what we're going to do tonight is we're going to do a little bit of playing through our music. We're going to do a little bit of rehearsing. We're going to show you a little bit of a warm up. As you just saw, it took um, about 10 of us, 30 minutes to tune everyone. Um, usually it's myself and maybe one other person during our rehearsals. So um, it, it's a lot to get them into um, get, kind of getting started with their rehearsals. So this is why I've asked you guys to get tuners and I've asked the kids to learn how to tune. And some of them are really, really good at it. Um, and some of you have bought a lot of strings uh, because they just break so easily. So I appreciate that. Um, but I'm so excited to have you guys here and come and support them and kind of see what we do a little bit. Um, so we are going to get started. Mr. Haight, I just realized I forgot my baton. Thank you. All right, so I'm gonna do a little bit of playing too. Um, I'm actually primarily a cello player. I've been playing cello uh, since I was five, uh, but violin is smaller and it's easier to carry around. So I do a lot of my teaching with violin and a lot of it is just a lot of demonstrating and going back and forth. So what we're gonna do, first of all, is we're gonna check our tuning and then we're just gonna do a scale and then we're gonna do a scale and a round. All right, so what I would like to do is I want you to give me four A's then four D's, four G's, cellos and viols is going to give me four C's, and then I get four E's, okay? Ready? Four A's first. Ready? <laughs> They're going to do their C's first and then you do your E's. So this is our first time playing in this space and it's really different from what we're used to. So can we try that again? Now remember, even in tuning we're going to be really together. Ready? So it's going to go A's, D's, G's, C's, and then you do the E's. Ready? A, A. everyone sound good? No one sounds funky? All right. Thank you. I can't believe I forgot that. Hmm? Oh, let me turn the mic on. I can shout loud enough. How's that? Is that a little bit better? All right. Um, so we are going to start first with our D major scale. Oh, actually, you know what? I want to do something else first. We always say no pictures, no pictures, no pictures. I'm going to give you guys like one minute if you want to jump up here and take pictures of your kids because they're so adorable right now. So if you guys want to come up really quickly and take a picture before we get started, you can come do that. Could you move out of the way? See? Sir. Let me get out of the way. Either side. Thank you. to do this when I taught third grade and it was so funny. Well, because now they won't be so like phone happy. Oh my gosh, they're like really, they're like. Oh my gosh, I want a picture of the parents like swarming the stage. I didn't really mean like come up, come up. Now how am I going to get back in? You're not. Look at all these like loving, adoring parents. Hi, babe. All right, now you got to go sit with them. I love 
this though. Yeah, it's so Nobody nice. ever gets to go up on stage and take pictures, right? That's great. Yeah. Megan's here. Oh, is she? Yep. She doesn't see me. <laughs> okay. Go ahead. <laughs> huh? Oh, thank you. <laughs> The struggle of getting back in. I know. <laughs> you can get out. They'll, they'll come back in. Hi. How are you? Hug before. Of course. Thank you for coming. Okay. Thank you. Okay. All right. Yes. Yeah, we're gonna need me to go first. All right, you guys, show me rest position. Show them that you're ready. Peter. Peter. Bella, where are you standing? Go sit, go sit, go sit. Anybody left on the stage has to play. So, yeah. you sure? I got some extra, okay. Right. Okay, so we're gonna start off with a D major scale. It's our first fundamental scale that they learn in fifth grade and it's the same scale that they're gonna be playing for years to come that we kind of always work on our tone production, our bow direction. Um, one of the things that we talk about a lot here is um, playing together and it's actually a very visual thing as opposed to if you look at a band instrument you don't actually from a distance you can't see that they're playing together um, but with orchestra it's really right there so we work really hard on making our bows the same length and in the same direction um, and then we talk a lot about breathing and kind of singing through our instruments as well so we're going to do a D major scale and we're going to do four notes each up and down that's it Ready? Hmm? Yes. Up, like up the scale and down the scale, like we always do. So four notes each. All right, you guys ready? Ready just shows me you're ready. It's not up in playing position. Feet flat on the floor. All right. Roll your shoulders back. Smile. Two. do is we're going to split the room in half. You don't actually have to physically move. We are on this half, you guys are on this half. So we're going to do the same thing, four notes each. So you guys are going to start and then you guys are group two. Okay? Hang on one second. Wait. Okay. Ready? So you guys are up in playing position two, but I'll show you when to come in. Four notes each. Ready?
Very nice. You sound good. So, you guys get an idea of how this room sounds? Yeah. You sound really, really good. Like, really good. You look really good, too. So, far in the back, make sure you're watching because you got to watch more, okay? Um, all right, so this first piece that we're going to play is called Old Joe Clark. It's just an old American fiddle tune. Um, we just started working on it a couple weeks ago. It was a little fun thing that we were doing, and then I decided that um, it would be kind of fun to play this as a warm-up for you. Um, we've been working really hard on our C naturals, which is keeping our second finger really low, and then our F sharps, which is keeping our second finger really high. So when they say two, a lot of times it's really hard for us to remember. Is it low two or is it high two, natural or flat? So it's one of the things we've been working on a lot. So I'm going to do a little call and response, and then I'm going to have them play all the way through. So we're going to do the call and response just like we did in class, and then we're going to play all the way through. Lillian, you can just hang out. Oh, this is nuts. All right, so before we do this, I want you to play for me A, B, C natural. So we're going to go. And then D, nope, Summer House, remember? Show your neighbor. You could just show them. All right. Now, D, E, F sharp. Make sure that F sharp is really high. Show your neighbor. All right. Turn to your neighbor and say, I'm going to play C natural. What about you? Res respond to your neighbor, of course I want to play C natural. I would never do that. <laughs> All right, here we go. So, call and response. I'll give you guys the intro and then we're going to play all the way through. Oh. See, they love you. All right, here we go. looking perfect so actually Haley can you hold so Haley has a bow seat belt on because seat belts are always a safe way to go um, we have these elastic bands we've been using very recently some of them got them today um, to help hold the bow some of the things that we don't think about with playing a string instrument is how important your right hand is. Uh, we always think about holding the instrument and then using your left hand, but the right hand is what makes all the sound. The left hand is all the pitches and the rhythms. The right hand is the rhythms and the tone production. So one of the things that we have to make sure we do is not hold our bow like this. And in sixth grade, this is one of the, the biggest things that we struggle with is being able to hold your bow the right way and being able to play with a really straight bow. 
Um, so I'm seeing some amazing bows tonight, and they've been doing really, really well with it. So that's one of the things that we've, it's one of the tricks that we've been doing. All right, so now we're gonna go over to Sparkle. Yay! Um, don't forget to show them that you can move from music to music without talking. All right. So what I'm going to do now is we're actually going to just rehearse measure 11. 11 to 19. I want to go over that section because with pizzicatos we tend to what? Rush. So we're not going to rush, right? Um, we have Lillian over here on bells. Lillian is our seventh grade bass player, but she's literally been at every concert and she's doing everything and now she's playing bells, so that's amazing. And then we have Carly. Are you a junior? It's a sophomore. What? You're not a freshman. Seriously? Carly's a freshman. She's a cello player and she's an amazing piano player, so she's here playing with us. Um, so we are so excited to have her come play with us today and this is the first time that we've gone through this with her, so this is going to be a really fun experience. All right, so let's take a look at measure 11. Cellos. Cellos and bass. And Zach. Let's start your beat. Ready? One, two, measure 11, and one. Three. Awesome. So your job is to keep going and be exactly that. Okay? Can you guys do that again for me? All right. So when I come back to you, you need to do that exact same thing. Um, Let's add violas and second violins, please. Just viola, actually with cellos. Cello, bass, viola, second violin. One, two, ready, and one and two. One and two. All right, so we're gonna stop for a second. So remember, they have chord notes. You have eighth notes. Two of your eighth notes are gonna fit inside their chord notes. Ready? One, Measure 11 and one and first violence. Join me with clapping. One and two and one and one. One. Okay, and then that's your amazing entrance. I know you guys are going to get that. All right, so now we're going to add first violins with that and we're going to do piano with that too. Ready? And bells. Measure 11, two, breathe, and We're not going to do that part. Not yet. Not yet. We'll do that soon. No, it's okay. So if you guys noticed, it took maybe two and a half measures before you fit in with what they were doing. So make sure you're doing that subdivision. So this whole time in your head, you're thinking one and two and three and four and peanut, 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 mushroom, mushroom, whatever you're thinking of, whatever food you're thinking of right now, those two beats. Most of my analogies have to do with food. It's true. <laughs> Ready? You know it. Ready? So can we try this again? Measure 11. So first violins, I want you to hear what the second violins are doing and fit their same eighth notes. Ready? Here we go. Measure 11. Two. Ready. And. Don't rush. That sounds really, really good. So again, make sure you're looking up as much as you can, because you guys in the back, you're really far, so you gotta make sure you're looking up for that. All right. Um, and then I was gonna go over 18, but you guys just did that, so we're, we're perfect on that. Okay, let's play through. So we're gonna play through the whole thing of Sparkle for you right now, and I figured it was a good way tonight to do a piece, like work on it, and then play through a piece, and then work on another piece and play through it. So now you're gonna hear that section, see if you can identify that when we get to it. Ready? Ready just means look ready. Like give me your face. Yeah. 
Except it's sparkle, it should be like happy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, sh 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 think of that tempo. One, two, ready. <laughs> <laughs> One of the funny things about the, the program is I actually wrote this at um, over February vacation when we had no snow. So I was thinking, oh, Sparkle would be great. It sounds all, you know, like winter and snow. And then we had no snow, so I wrote that. And then, I'm sorry, I think I may have caused the <laughs> 20 inches of snow that we had. But, um, but it just kind of reminds me of one of those pieces. It sounds like a wintertime piece that I really like. All right, so we are going to move over. So there's a couple of things that I found out about um, Teens, preteens, tweens, whatever you want to break it down into. A couple things. They're a little bit impatient sometimes. Just like a cop, not often, but sometimes. Um, and they love dark and creepy music. Um, I really do too, so it works out really well. But I've noticed that whenever I find a piece in minor or something that has a, like a little bit of a darker story to it, they just absolutely love it. So this next piece called Abandoned Fun House is incredibly mature for what they're doing and at their age, which is a great piece written for sixth grade, and it absolutely sounds like an abandoned fun house. And we have uh, two bell players, so we have Lillian, back again on bells, and Dylan, who's playing bells as well. He's one of our viola players, so we're excited that they're kind of branching out and trying something new. Um, and so this is gonna be abandoned fun house. So we'll do a couple little things with this, and then we'll play through. All right. Guys, that sounds so good. I'm not surprised, I'm impressed. <laughs> okay, it's 725 already, my goodness. All right, so can we please do, oh, I lost my piece of paper here. Um, 61, please. Just the last few measures. So first one thing, we talked about imagining things. So think about what the abandoned fun house looks to you in your mind. <coughs> it may look a little bit different to everybody. So now we're going to do the last three, four, uh, one, two, three, four, five measures, 61 to 65, focusing on the super cool ending. And you guys are going to like, boom, right? What was that? Right, the big, fat, soft, fuzzy raindrop. Okay, ready? 61. So think one, two, three, one, two. No, Jed, I'm just getting to. Ready? One, two. <sighs> one. Two, three, one, two. <sighs> it's got to be one big fat buzzy raindrop. 
Okay, so we're going to try that again. Was that together? No. Can we do better? Yeah. Ready? 61. I want your eyes locked up here. You know these last five measures. One, two, three. One. Good. Try that again. So in the back, I want you guys not to use your ears as much as you're using your eyes. I want you to watch what's going on with the bows in front of you because right now you're waiting for the sound. Look, it's going all the way back there and coming back before it gets to you. So I want you guys all on both sides. Watch me for this. Ready? Here we go. Last five measures again. Two. <sighs> Too fast. Try it again. Eyes up here. Your parents are here so I can be really picky. Ready? All together. You had to know I was going to do that. Ready? Two. One, two. Beautiful. All right. That's awesome. We're going to play through the whole thing now. Are we ready? So the um, composer, I like the way that he described this piece. Um, it's, a by, it's by a composer who's actually alive, which is really nice. That doesn't always happen. Um, so he says, it takes the listener on an eerie tour that can be best described as an unsettling experience with a touch of curiosity and anxiousness. If that doesn't describe sixth grade, I don't know what does. All right, are we ready? You guys ready to be creepy? Haunting? So again, in the back, make sure you're watching for me, okay? Ready, Anushka? Oh, and we have Anushka playing piano. I didn't even see you back there. She was hiding behind the piano. So she is our sixth grade, um, your violin. Violin. Um, and she also plays piano, so she's playing with us tonight, too. Are we ready? Here we go. You guys don't go up yet. They're up. So one, two. It's not your time. Three, 
I love that piece. That's a very new piece. I was so excited to buy it this year. I thought this was a perfect group to work with it on. All right. Perfect timing. Okay, we have one more piece for you. How many people have ever heard of the song Baby Shark? How many people never want to hear it again? Okay, I promise I'm not going to make you play or listen to Baby Shark today. However, I do have to bring up, this is a wonderful song. My, um, our orchestra room is right next to Mr. Keller's room. He loves it. And there was one week where I decided to teach everybody Baby Shark in all different positions, in shifting, in fourth position, and we had eighth graders doing it in fourth and fifth position. We had, you know, the, the sixth graders are doing it in first position. He finally came into my room one day and he was like, um, do you have anything else? <laughs> you know, are you gonna work on anything else? And I said, yeah, in a couple days. So, um, what I like about this piece is using the baby shark notes. I promise I won't play the whole thing. Um, so using that D, E, and G, and I really like this song um, because getting this hand shape between the first and the third finger, and for cellos, being able to give them that hand shape, we work on open and one a lot and open and four, but sometimes that third finger isn't really where it needs to go. So doing Baby Shark kind of helps us with that. So that's the one good thing that came out of Baby Shark. Um, so this piece is called Backcountry Ramble and it doesn't sound anything like it, but it does have the same notes, which is kind of interesting. Oh, I also want to give a shout out to all my eighth graders and high school friends who have been helping out tonight. Seriously, this would have been so much harder without them, just with all the extra setup, and the Jazz Lab was here helping set up the chairs, so I really, truly appreciate um, that you didn't want to go home tonight. <laughs> so thank you. All right, so back country ramble. Um, another thing we love to do is sing. Yay! Okay, so we are going to sing until measure 19. They love it. So. So we're going to do it on do. Now, remember, do, two, three, four. Do, 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 do. Don't do it yet, but just thinking. Think that in your head, okay? I want you to pretend you're a chorus for a second. Like a really good chorus. Ready? Do, here's your G. Two, ready? Do. Do, 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 do. I didn't tell you on purpose. I know. Um, okay, so for, I want to do the pizzicato section at 19 because what do we do? A rush. Okay. 19, ready? Chellos, you're going to set us up. Do, 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 do. 19, ready? One, two, three. Stop for a second. So remember, at 19, you don't play. They play. You play at 20, you play at 21. You get to hang out. One, two, ready. <gasps> to do? Count. What do we forget to do? Count. Try it again. Ready? So think in your head. Ready? Cellos and...
That's it. That was really, really good. So what did you do differently that time? Counted. Yeah. To count to four. Oh, were you? Yeah. You need to count to four. All right. Can we try this one more time? I won't make you sing this. Ready? 19. I want the downbeat, every downbeat to be a little bit stronger. Every first beat, because if you do every first beat really strong, then you're going to be able to be, um, to keep together a little bit more. And then we'll run through it. 19, 2, ready, add. So a little bit of rushing, we're going to make sure we don't do that when we do the run through. So again, one of the things I was talking about is with our bows, it's really visual. Um, and when there's pizzicato, there's no visual to it and we only hear the beginning of the note. We don't always hear the whole note. So if we have pizzicato, a quarter note, eighth note, half note, they all sound exactly the same. It just depends on how long you wait until the next note. So that's why we tend to rush as middle school orchestras. Um, when we're doing pizzicato. So it's a really, really difficult thing to do. In this whole section, everyone's doing something, the same thing, but slightly um, after each other. So it's a really hard part to put together and they've worked really hard on it. All right, are we ready to play through all of it? Yay! All right. You have to smile so your parents think you're having fun. All right. Okay, here we go. Show me you're ready. Feet flat on the floor, please. Sit up nice and tall. String in your back. What are you doing? It's going to keep going. Yeah. <laughs> it's. Dude. There's still one more. Josephine needs a new bow. Okay. All right. Are we ready? Focus. Oh my God. So think. Shh. So what are you gonna think at the very beginning? Do rest, rest, rest. Do 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 do. Right? No 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 no. We're not marching. <laughs> you good, Peter? You good? Okay. Here we go. December and I am so incredibly proud of everything that they've done. Um, this is the biggest sixth grade class we've ever had in the orchestra program which I just think is amazing. Um, 
And the small challenges we have with space is really nothing compared to how awesome this is and where this is going to go in the future. So I am really excited. Um, and I just want to say thank you to all of you for your support. Um, lessons, instruments, strings, bows, rosin that breaks, everything that you guys do is really, really important and it's really vital to the success of the program. So I just want to say thank you to that. Um, Mr. Hay, I didn't, is there something I need to talk about the raffle or is that you? Oh, was that the yellow piece of paper you gave me? Sorry. You guys can sit. Thank you. You're wonderful. Is that what this was? Was I supposed to read this? I'm sorry. Okay. I didn't give a gold, oh, I forgot a golden pencil for this rehearsal. <gasps> oh, I don't know. I wasn't focused on that. Okay, so I stole this idea from a fellow teacher. Um, I have golden orchestra pencils made up. And so the one student who really stands out for me for each rehearsal, which is really impossible for tonight because everybody did a really good job, so I can't do it tonight. Um, so at the end of every rehearsal, one student gets a golden pencil and it's a very important pencil it's not real gold um, and I don't think anybody actually sharpens them I, I think they just keep them so we have started doing that so that's one thing we do all right so again thank you so much um, your children are going to wait we're gonna start with the back so we're not running through people you can go through that door or that door they're gonna put their instruments away and then they can come meet you in the lobby thank you so much again